The title is not clickbait. I um, I have some news. I got married in August and I realized this video is gonna be like a bombshell announcement video, which was not my intention. I kind of like forgot to talk about it on YouTube and then all of a sudden it had been three months and I hadn't like explained on YouTube. Not on purpose. I kind of just like didn't want it to be an ordeal and now here we are and it's an ordeal. Obviously the wedding is a big deal, but like you know what I mean. I attention is scary, okay? I know I'm a YouTuber, but attention is scary. So this video is kind of gonna be like an explanation of the visa process and like a story time update. It will not be your regularly scheduled Sims programming. So if you're not into that, that is cool. I'll catch you in the next one. But if you are, hello. Just to catch up to speed, Dan and I have been long distance for like three years. He's from the UK, I'm from Florida. So, you know. <laughs> short distance between us. Um, yeah. And we dated for like three years long distance. Now obviously he's moved here. And unfortunately it is not easy to move countries. I think a lot of people maybe aren't super familiar with that process because like obviously how would you be? But there are not many ways to move to the US. They don't like immigrants, which you're probably aware of. So the options for us as a long distance couple, right, were, well, one of us has to move. And we decided it made the most sense for him to come here. And then, you know, what visa are you gonna go for? Well, a work visa is really difficult to get. He already had a degree. He's not gonna get a student visa and get a different one. That leaves a spousal visa and a fiance visa, which is probably the easiest route for a situation like this. It makes the most sense. We went the K-1 visa route, the fiance visa route, which you might know from 90 Day Fiance. That show kind of makes a mockery of the process. Um, it actually is very long and nightmarish, but the idea being if you're already married, you can apply for a spousal visa. That one's probably better. It takes a little bit longer to get, but when you get it, you immediately have your green card, you're set, you're good to go, and I'll explain more of that in a second. The fiance visa at the time we thought was better back in January of 2020 when we applied because at the time it usually was a little bit faster, like they processed it a bit faster. And then obviously you don't need to be legally married already to apply, you just need to be engaged. And all it means to be engaged is just to say, hey government, I'm engaged, even if you don't have like a ring or whatever, because that is at the core what an engagement is, right? It's a, a decision that you are going to get married. So we applied for the fiance visa back in January of 2020, pre-COVID, good times. We kind of expected it to take like like a year, maybe like 10 months if you're lucky. We also expected to see each other a lot more in the last year um, after we applied, but you know, that didn't happen because there was a pandemic. So we applied in January, kind of assumed we were gonna get like properly engaged, you know, with this thing soon afterward when we saw each other again, and then we didn't see each other again. So <laughs> that didn't happen until he moved here. But you know, we've been like engaged since January of 2020. It's a whole lot of paperwork. It is not easy to apply for, but we submitted it. We sent it off. It was fine. Cut to then a year and a half later, finally in July of 2021, he has his visa interview, his medical exam. He has to go to the embassy in London and you know, do all these things. He gets his visa approved. Well, now he can come here. So back in July this year, I went over to him, flew to the UK, helped him like pack and say goodbye to his family and stuff. And then we flew back to Florida together on July 31st. And the deal with the K-1 visa is that you have to get married in 90 days after arriving in the US. The visa is for fiancés of US citizens. And you know, the idea is that, hey, I'm gonna come here and we're gonna get married once I'm here. I feel like the show 90 Day Fiancé kind of makes it seem like they just met and how ridiculous they're gonna get married after a month. Except most people that apply for that visa have been together for years. It takes like a year and a half to get. Some people have met only once when they apply, but obviously that wasn't the case for Dan and I. But anyway, it's not as crazy as it seems is the point I'm trying to make. And while you have like the full 90 days to get married and then submit your paperwork, you kind of want to do it earlier in that just because after you get married, you're then out of status. The K-1 visa is a weird one where like you come here, you're allowed to enter and stay legally but you don't have any status in the US as like a, a permanent resident until you get your green card, which takes a long time. So once you get married, you can then file to adjust status and like apply for your green card. So we wanted to do that as soon as possible so we could start doing things like getting him insurance and you know, like moving here properly. So we ended up getting married at the end of August. It wasn't like a big deal wedding or anything, obviously like, <laughs> How would we have had a real wedding in COVID? And also, I think for me personally, that day wasn't that important to me. I don't know how to explain this. I don't mean that like the wedding wasn't a big deal because obviously it's a big deal, but I don't think that like that ceremony holds a lot of emotional significance to me. Like I would like to in the future have like a wedding wedding where, you know, like our families can actually be there. I mean, obviously Dan's parents couldn't be here. They couldn't travel. There was a travel ban. My brother had a test so he couldn't miss school. Like it was just my parents and my sister. So I'd like to do something proper to 
celebrate at some point in the future. I think that's why I didn't talk about it a lot on YouTube, because I still want to do something to celebrate in a couple of years, but, but basically that day we just went to the courthouse. I guess rewind a little bit. It's interesting, because different states have different rules on this, but in Florida, you can't get married the same day you apply for your marriage license if you live in Florida. If you're from out of state, if you're like traveling to Florida for a wedding, you can apply for the marriage license that day, and then also get married and like sign it that day. But if you live in Florida, you have to do it a few days in advance. So we had to like book an appointment to get the marriage license and they did it over Zoom. So we had like a Zoom meeting with the cork clerk, cork clerk, court clerk, the county court clerk. We had a Zoom meeting and we had to like show her IDs to prove who we were and like give her all our information so she could fill it out on the form. And then she like signs it and stuff. That's not like the official like, you're married now. That's just like a, you're allowed to get married. Here's the paperwork. It's like the legal part, you know? And then a few days later, we went to the actual courthouse. I didn't wear like a fancy dress. I wore a white dress, like a little white dress, but not like a wedding dress, you know? We all kind of dressed up a little bit. We wore like nice clothes, but not like fancy clothes. But we went, you check in. At my courthouse, they have like a room where they do the weddings. It's actually kind of cute. They had like an archway and chair set up and stuff, but there was just like my parents and Shanna there. So there wasn't like a lot of people in the chairs. <laughs> And also it was kind of weird because we stood at the front of the room and then the lady who was performing the ceremony just stood in the doorway. Like she opened the door, came in and just stood right by the door at the very back. I think to like not get in pictures and stuff and also cause of COVID. But it was, it was weird cause she just like kind of walked in and was like, okay, are you ready? And we were like, uh, yeah. And then she just started by the door. It felt very relaxed. Like it's a really big deal. And it was so simple. Does that make sense? Like she was just there and then it was done in like a, a minute and then, you're married. And then, you know, she like signs the papers. My parents signed as witnesses and then they go back and file it. They were like, do you want any copies? And I was like, yeah, I need copies to send them to the government. So we got some copies and then we went to my parents' house and we ordered pizza and ate cake. So it was fun. It wasn't like fancy though, is what I'm trying to say. Like it wasn't like, you know, a traditional wedding in any sense. I was also like really busy with work stuff that week. So I feel like we didn't even really celebrate outside of just like that Wednesday. I literally told my chat, I was like, sorry guys, I can't stream tomorrow, I'm busy. And then I went and got married and then streamed the next day. Do you know what else? I had a merch photo shoot on the Thursday and I didn't tell them because I was, I didn't want like attention for it. Ryan, if you're watching, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I didn't want it to be like a thing when I was just doing my merch photos, you know? So I just didn't mention it. Meanwhile, I literally got married yesterday, but I didn't tell them. I guess you're gonna find out now. But anyway, it was kind of stressful because I just wanted to get it over with so we could get the paperwork filed. Like that was kind of my mentality with it was just like, we need to do this so we can file his adjustment of status paperwork and get everything sorted. Cause that's a whole bunch of paperwork too. You have to send like a million things to the government for these visas, it's ridiculous. I mean, it makes sense, but it's ridiculous. And it's physical paper as well. Like you have to print it out and mail it to them. Oh my God, I don't even, oh. The the green card application, you have to mail them physical paper and then they scan it and upload it to the website. So I can see on the tracking website, all the documents they have. They scanned them and uploaded them. And when I talk about it on stream, they're like, oh, it's because they need to see originals. No, they don't. They have a copy of our birth certificates. And then they scanned the copy of the birth certificates. It makes no sense why you can't just scan it yourself to them. It would save so much time and effort, but outdated website, you know not a priority to update it either. And they're underfunded, so like, you know, it, ma it makes sense, but it makes no sense. Anyway, so Dan and I got married on August 25th. I don't have like a wedding band. I don't think I want one. I have like my engagement ring. This isn't a diamond, by the way, it's moistenite. I've posted a picture on Instagram if you want to see it, but I don't think I want a wedding band. I think I like just having one ring. <laughs> I know that's not like very traditional, but whatever, I don't really care. And also before you comment, because I know it's a thing that gets asked, I know I'm kind of young. I'm 22, Dan's 24. It's not like the youngest people to have ever gotten married, but I know it's kind of young and people obviously have their opinions. I'm happy. And also I think that we are in a pretty weird and unique situation given the, the distance where like there's kind of only one solution and obviously we want to be together in person, especially after COVID. Like I am so grateful that we applied when we did because if we had applied later during COVID, it would have been so much worse and so much harder and so much longer of a wait. So I'm really glad we applied in January, like pre-COVID because the time that we couldn't see each other during COVID was really difficult. And at least it helped to know like, well, we've started the process to to move. You know, we've begun that. That was that was helpful <laughs> to have in the back of your mind. Like at least it's not permanent, you know? There is an end in sight. And now he lives here. So we're not long distance anymore. Isn't that weird after all this time? Anyway, as far as like future plans go, I would like to have a real wedding at some point. That's not like a thing that I'm actively planning though. I think we wanna have the wedding 
in the UK. It feels fair, given the fact that I snatched him and stole him to America, that we would go celebrate in a place where, like, all of his family can actually go, because it's not easy to travel, you know? But that way they could all be there, because it's closer. But the thought of planning a wedding in a different country is a bit stressful, especially right now, like, with COVID still up in the air. Like, I that could be later, you know? I'm not worried about that yet. But eventually, I'd like to do something like that. Oh, I also do have loads of pictures. I also do have loads of pictures. Uh, this one, for example, is us sitting there waiting for them to call our name. Here was that wedding arch I was talking about. There's my dad sitting in the room. <laughs> <laughs> See, that one's kind of cute. I don't know what I'm gonna post on Instagram though. I'm scared of attention. It feels a lot easier to just like sit down and tell you about it on YouTube than to like post a picture on Instagram and I just, you know what? Maybe, maybe the problem is that I'm scared of Instagram. I haven't posted since October 3rd. Oh, that is terrible. I just, I don't get out much. To be honest with you, I suppose I have had a few big life events this year that I posted about, so... I just need to grow up. You know what? That's the problem. Okay, as far as the green card stuff goes though, so obviously we've applied for the green card, we submitted all the paperwork. I don't really expect him to get the green card until like, ooh, next year, next summer. I don't have high hopes. It's slow. And now the green card basically is his like, here you are a permanent resident of the US, you are allowed to stay. He's allowed to stay right now too, but he's kind of in this weird like limbo status where he doesn't have the green card but he's got like proof of applying for it and proof that he was allowed to apply for it so that he's fine. But it's still stressful to be out of status like that. He's also in a weird place where he can't work, he can't leave the country because if he does leave the country, they're gonna think he abandoned his green card application and he'd have to start over like with a fresh new spousal visa now. He can't get a driver's license. We had a really hard time getting him insurance because they didn't want to give him insurance. He has insurance now, but it was a whole, oh my god, it was a whole thing. And that's where like the K-1 visa is kind of a, a major negative because if we were already married when we applied for the visa, like if we had way back when decided let's just get married now and apply for a spousal visa, it probably would have taken a little bit longer. Although maybe not because they still processed the spousal visas in London during COVID, but they didn't process K-1 visas for a long time. So we kind of got trapped there. But the spousal visa, you get the green card as soon as you arrive in the US. So you have all those perks instantly instead of having to wait and like apply for a second thing. So it takes a lot of that stress out of it. Honestly, if I could offer any advice if you are going through this process as well, which I know is probably a very small portion of you, but I would go for the spousal visa. I would not do the K-1 again. I know it's easier because you don't need to be together to apply for it. You don't need to like already be married and all of that. And obviously that's not super possible right now if you can't travel because of COVID, but if it is possible for you to somehow manage to get married and apply for the spousal visa, seriously, I would try to swing it because it is such a better visa. So you have so many more perks. Anyway, hindsight's 2020 though. Literally, <laughs> if we had known what was gonna happen in 2020, our plan would have been different. But alas, no one could have known. I've made a few videos about the visa process already, kind of like small updates as news was given about the visa. Like I did one when he had his interview and got approved and you know, all of that. So I can link those down below if you wanna watch them. I also talk about the visa process a lot more on my stream. Like I feel like my Twitch community probably knew all of these things ages ago because I talk about it like every day just because it's easier to have casual conversation on Twitch. I'm not gonna like bring up in the middle of a speed build in The Sims like, oh, by the way, I got married yesterday. It's, you know, it's weird. It would be weird. I'm just trying to build a house. It's harder to like, <laughs> just drop that kind of thing into conversation in a YouTube video, you know? You gotta do a sit down, dramatic life update like this one. But there, I think that's all of our bases covered. And I also think I answered most of the like frequently asked questions. That is my small but major life update for you. And I guess with that being said, I'm probably gonna go and tomorrow I'll get back to you with some regular Sims videos. Also, I'll link my social media and Dan's down below. I know you're gonna stalk him. If you're anything like me, I know you will. So I'll, <laughs> I'll link him down below too. And like I said, I've got pictures of the ring on my Instagram. I know you're curious about that as well. Look, I know, I know how I am, so I know how you are. My Instagram's linked. And with that being said, I will see you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. I wonder how many people are going to not click on this video because they assume it's like a dumb Sims Let's Play. That's why I had to say it right out. This video is not clickbait. I know what it looks like, but it's true.